Hello everyone and welcome back. Welcome to another Crafty Decor Adventure. Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Home. And in today's video, I am so excited to share with you guys 10 DIY Dollar Tree French Farmhouse Decor Crafts. So this is another episode in my I Love Spring series. I love to share with y'all how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget. Hey, listen, y'all don't have to break the bank to have a fabulous, amazing home. Now I am hosting an I Love Spring series as well as a giveaway to go along with that. And that is going to be a cricket joy. I'm sitting at that to somebody. Um, so don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and comment down below. I also am giving away a $100 um, gift card to go along with that. So I just want to spoil one of you guys. And I usually try to do a fun giveaway every month to give us all something to look forward to. And hey, listen, I just want to encourage you all to keep putting one foot in front of the other. I know everybody's going through a lot right now. Um, so just keep up the good work, crafting and decorating and staying positive and using your voice for a voice of good. So I love y'all. Let's go ahead and get into the crafting. Without further ado, let's go ahead and plug in those glue guns, get out your glitter and paint, and let's get to crafting. First Dollar Tree DIY, we're gonna create a French farmhouse fabric carrot. So I'm taking some of this leftover scrap of fabric, some Walmart grocery shopping bags, and some little leaves here, and then some paper towel rolls. We're gonna take our paper towel roll and cut it in half. That is gonna create the base of our carrot. I'm also going to unwind the paper towel roll from the start of where it starts to wind up. And then you're just going to go ahead and give it a bit of a twist. And then you'll take your shopping bags. I used two for half of a paper towel roll. And I'm just gonna squishy up the shopping bag in one end and then squishy it up in the other end. And this is the fun part. You can go ahead and give it a little squeeze. You wanna kinda of create the shape of a carrot form by twisting and turning your shopping bags and your paper towel rolls. And it's okay if it looks like a bit of a hot mess because we're gonna cover it with some fabric so nobody is gonna see your work underneath. And this is how it should look after you've done a bit of twisting and turning. Now I'm gonna take a Dollar Tree baby blanket. I love this because it's great for a French farmhouse feel and it also matches some pillows that I made out of Dollar Tree baby blankets in my living room. Definitely check out the link down below for all of my fun and fabulous crafts. Now I'm going to add the little twist paper towel roll onto the bit of fabric and add some hot glue. I'm going to continue to roll the fabric inward and add dabs of hot glue as I go. That's going to secure it on to the fabric and also on to your little roll. Continue to roll till you get your entire thing covered and then you can just take some scissors and trim off that excess fabric. If you're really particular you can also leave an extra edge, fold it under so you'll get a nice seamless edge. But this is just a little garden carrot so so no worries here for me. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the end and I'm just going to poke it down in the center, add a dab of hot glue to the little cardboard roll and then you can just push your excess fabric in and voila, you have a very fun and fabulous French farmhouse carrot. The next thing you wanna to do to finish off the more tapered end is you can just pull the fabric in, give it a bit of a twist and add a dab of hot glue and then you can even fold that little tiny end under if you want a more of a finished edge. And this is how it should look. Don't be frustrated, the first one of my carrots was not the best. So continue to practice and have fun with this. Now I'm gonna take my tulip green leaf, which I didn't have any really great green leaves to make for my carrot. So I'm just making them a little bit more spindly and fun. And so I'm just going to add another dab of hot glue to the end of my carrot and then pop in some greenery. So this is really fun, fabulous, and easy. And I'm gonna tell you guys that I see these little fabric carrots out pretty much everywhere at all of the home decor stores, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, TJ Maxx. They're always in fun and neat prints. And I think it's just a fun, whimsical way to add some little carrots into your home decor. They look beautiful in baskets or to any pretty much little Easter vignette. I like the soft grays. I think it's really beautiful. I also did create some in that ticking fabric you can see off to my right and also some buffalo check plaid ones as well. Now that I'm finished with several of my carrots, I ended up making about seven on this day. And I'm just gonna go ahead and trim off a piece of jute twine that I found at Dollar Tree. I'm wrapping around my little bundle of carrots and then I'm going to tie them because you know I've been shopping at the French farmhouse market and so I'll have to have them added in into my fabulous basket. So here is how they are looking popped in to my little Easter vignette with my darling bunny, my calm and cozy candle, and then my super snuggly little French farmhouse carrots. The other thing I like about having these fabric carrots is it gives a bit of a textural element to any 
of your displays that you're doing for spring, which I think is nice to add in that cozy vibe. So for the next Dollar Tree DIY, we are going to take these two little signs and then these two little Dollar Tree frames. I found all of these goodies at the Dollar Tree. And what I want to do is take my two extra Stellium spray paint and just go ahead and spray paint my frames. You can get the super cheap spray paint at Walmart, but I do like the 2X because it has a primer in it. And then I'm taking some of this Waverly Antique Wax um, after I'm done spray painting my little frames. I let them dry and then I'm just going to take this Antique Wax and kind of gently go over them. I'm using a bit of a cloth. This cloth is just an old rag I had. It suggests to use a lint-free towel. You can also use a chalk paint brush. I didn't have either one of those really on hand, although I think that my little rag here might be lint-free. I'm really hoping it is. I don't see lots of lint, but I'm I'm just going to add a very very tiny amount of my antique wax and then brush that off now I'm going to go ahead and add some hot glue in and around my little Dollar Tree frame. This one says God Goals and Grind. I think this will be cute, really cute for me to wake up to. And adding the dab of hot glue will secure this. I do want to suggest you add a dab of E6000 glue to this as well to get it to stay on really nicely um, if this is going to be your finished product. I'm also adding the same frame. I did it in the same style with the white spray paint and then the bit of antique wax and then I'm just going to take the backing off of those frames and hot glue them to the back of the little um, sign and that way they can both stand up. So I think this is so great. I really feel like this is something you would find at Hobby Lobby for about six to twelve dollars or um, any of your home decor stores. Little did we know that it was only from the Dollar Tree with a bit of paint and TLC. We made these really beautiful little custom signs and I really think it glammed them up to add those touches of that extra scrolly design frame. Also if you're decorating in a French farmhouse style, the little scrolly designs are very um, French. We'll say that I suppose um, or shabby or just whatever suits your fancy. So for the next Dollar Tree DIY, we're going to make some carrot napkin rings. I'm taking these Dollar Tree napkin rings. They come in a six pack in the Dollar Tree party section and I'm just using this burlap colored fabric and you want to go ahead and hot glue a dab of hot glue onto your napkin ring and then just begin to wrap the burlap around your napkin ring. Now remember you can customize this to suit whatever decor that you love. I'm sure showing burlap here but I'm also going to show you guys a little bit more of a girly um, kind of a French farmhouse glam style with some lace ribbon but just dig into your stash. You could use fabric. You could wrap it around um, the napkin ring. I'm just hot gluing till I got all the way uh, where I was covering the silver. You could even paint these but for time's sake I decided just to use this ribbon and then I'm hot gluing my cute little Dollar Tree carrot on. The Dollar Tree carrots come I believe four to six to a pack and then you have something very customized something you would find at maybe a Pier 1 Imports or your home decor stores for very very lots less. Very budget friendly I would say. So now I'm just adding this burlap um, ribbon on here. Now this came with a bit of lace. I got both of these ribbons from burlapfabric.com. I will leave a coupon code Olivia Spring that will give you five dollars off if you want to check that out. Um, but I'm doing the same thing. I'm just wrapping it around the little napkin ring and then I just want to add a little dab of hot glue to the center here and add the carrot. Um, don't go too generous on your hot glue with the carrot because the carrot is rather lean and so you don't want the hot glue to be popping up. Here's how they look. They fit perfectly with the thrift store linen napkin that I found onto my little table setting and I do hope to share with you all some beautiful spring and Easter table settings in my dining room. I'm hoping to work on refinishing my tabletop. I used it for years for crafting. It's quite a mess so I do always have to use a table covering um, but here is this beautiful little vignette. I think it's so beautiful and wonderful to do these beautiful handmade crafts on a budget.
For the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to take some white Waverly chalk paint that I found at Walmart. My store finally had the white back in stock, and I'm just going to chalk paint this large garden planter that I found at the Dollar Tree. I love this one because it had a basket weave on it, and it is plastic, but the chalk paint does adhere fairly well to plastic. Now, this is going to be an indoor DIY only, so I suggest if you're doing something with outdoors, you may want to use more of a metal garden planter. Planter, um, that you're chalk painting but let me know if you guys do try this and use it outside um, and I'll try to let you all know if I try this technique outside as well so then I'm going to go in again with the Waverly antique um, wax and I just want to add a bit of wax in and around where after I had chalk painted I let it dry but I wanted to give it a bit of an aged appearance and pick up some of those lovely little basket weavings on the side again when you're going for kind of that french farmhouse feel you want things to feel a bit lived in and aged and then i'm just taking one of those dollar tree um, little brown basket planters you can actually plant real flowers in here but for now i'm just going to use some faux lavender they have it at walmart for 97 cents a bundle it's really lovely and it does not shed like the dollar tree lavender does i did pop in some little floral foam into the base of this i want to create an indoor lavender i actually planted real lavender last summer um, of course that is is gone right now because it's the middle of winter so I thought it'd be nice to plant some beautiful lavender well this is our faux lavender and then just have it inside my home and maybe even spritz it with some lavender spray um, just to kind of bring spring inside my home um, I did do okay with my real lavender that was outside last year but I will tell you that I know that my faux lavender is going to last much longer <laughs> So now I'm just trimming off the little bundles. I ended up using five bundles from Walmart of their faux lavender. This would also be beautiful with tulips or you could do lilacs or whatever suits your fancy and whatever kind of home decor that you're decorating with. But I think it's fun to add kind of this uh, fresh lavender look into a French farmhouse look. I also did go in with a bit of moss and kind of add that in and around so you couldn't see any of the floral foam. And here is how it is looking. It almost looks real to me, which I absolutely love, but then you don't have all of the maintenance of having that real lavender and it can bring that pop of spring inside and I think the camera is picking up where it looks a little bit blue but it actually looks more purple in person but so fun and fabulous and all ready for some spring dreaming <laughs> For the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to take this be grateful little sign and this kitchen is seasoned with love. I found them both at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to remove them from the Dollar Tree frames and then I want to take these little Dollar Tree frames and go ahead and give them a nice layer of chalk paint and I will tell you that I did use two coats of the Waverly White chalk paint that I found at Walmart. It's definitely hands down my favorite chalk paint unless I'm making my own. Now that I've given my frame some time to dry, again, I'm gonna go in with this Waverly Antique um, Wax Finish, and I'm just going to very gently with my little towel kind of rub the wax finish over the frame. So when I went about this process, I did give a little bit, and do not use very much of that wax. Use a tiny bit, a tiny bit will go a long way. If you want it more antique, then you just add in more. But then if you do feel like that you have added too much, you can go back in with the part of your towel that doesn't have any wax on it and just gently um, wipe any excess off. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put my little pictures back in. I will be using these in my kitchen. I have started collecting some of the Pioneer Woman decor and I feel like this matches so nicely with it. And I think just the simple act of painting those Dollar Tree frames took this photo or this little picture up 
um, so much. It just looks so much more high end having that cheap frame painted. Um, and you know, maybe if you're loving a little bit more of a different feel, maybe of a modern farmhouse, you could just paint it all the way dark gray or um, whatnot. But here it is mixed in with this beautiful little French farmhouse setting. And I just love the be grateful reminder. I think it's such a big reminder. I think this year is going to be my year of being just obsessively grateful and thankful. Um, I always find that when I'm more grateful in my life, that I just do better. I am more happy and at peace and at ease with everything and everyone around me. So there's my little 2020 mantra. So for the next Dollar Tree DIY, again, I'm going to take that 2X with primer spray paint. I spray painted my little Dollar Tree pots. You buy them three to a pack at Dollar Tree. They're just little clay pots. And then once those had dried, again, I'm going in with that Waverly Antique um, wax and I'm just gently antiquing these. You could even add in some more paint to give it even more of an aged look with like some grays and blacks and some layers. Um, but when I go in for a springtime look, a lot of times I just want a very light layer of antiquing underneath a very bright white. Um, and then I'm just going to add in some styrofoam and just hot glue that to the base and then pop in some more lavender. So these are going to be some mini lavender pots, which I thought might look nice setting next to my larger lavender pot. I think these would even do okay outside on my covered bench on my front porch. So if I pop them out there, um, I will definitely let you guys know. And I will also probably add some rocks because we live on a hill and um, add some rocks into the base of these. That way they don't fly away because when the wind kicks up I have everything on my front porch likes to end up in the neighbor's next door yard so anyway um, I'm gonna go ahead and pop some more lavender in for these two little Dollar Tree tiny pots it took two bundles of lavender so I hope that helps and then here we go oh my goodness this is definitely what I'm thinking for how I want to de decorate my dining room I want to find some more of these bunny plates this was actually my mom's sorry mom if you're missing this plate um, but this was hers, and so I think she had brought over some um, baked treats, and then somehow it just found its way into my stash. Not on purpose, I promise. <laughs> um, but anyway, here is an overview of everything in this set of DIYs. As always, I ask that you comment. Let me know what was your favorite DIY in this session, and which one would you all love to be recreating? And I just want to thank you for everybody that's posting on my Livy's Romantic Home Facebook group page. I am so inspired by your beautiful pictures of your home decor and your DIYs. I would love to invite everybody over there to share in the fun um, community over there. And then also don't forget to tag me on Instagram, Olivia's Romantic Home Instagram, and then I can share your DIYs on my story. So thank you guys again. And don't forget to comment and let me know which one was your favorite. Um, and what do you guys think about the crazy little um, carrots made? out of paper towel holders. <laughs> funny thing is, is I've had that DIY in my head for a while now. And I was even nervous this morning if I was going to be able to execute it. And I think it came out pretty darling. And there's those Buffalo check plaid ones. I made them in the exact same way as um, the checkered ones that I made using the Dollar Tree blankets. So I love y'all. And I'm so honored and blessed to have you here. I hope you're having a fun day crafting and just a gorgeous blessed day in general. We're going to create a super adorable French farmhouse faux enamel tub. So I'm going to take this cute little graphic that I found on graphicsfairy.com. It has some French lettering and also a lamb. I will leave a link to graphicsfairy dot com down below and I'm going to just cut it out and then I'm taking this plastic bin from Dollar Tree and I'm going to take some Mod Podge and put a generous layer of Mod Podge and actually I got a little bit too much here you guys. Um, I did end up kind of going in and around though the entire thing and getting it really 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 glued on really well. So once I had a layer of Mod Podge applied, I went ahead and put my little French farmhouse sticker on the front and I got it nice and smoothed on. And then I just took another layer of Mod Podge and went in with some Mod Podge on the front. Now you can see that my little lamb is missing part of its kind of face and body there. 
My printer was a bit low on ink, so I decided just to go ahead and fill it in with a little bit of Sharpie, and then I blended it with some paint. And this is such an adorable little um, DIY, and it is so fun and inexpensive. So how cute is this looking? I then decided to take some black paint, and this is just regular crafter paint, and then I'm using this little crafting sponge, and I'm going around the handle and the side of my little faux enamel tub to kind of make it look like it was aged. Back in my flea market days, I was always finding old enamel wear, and I thought it just looked so fun and French country chic. So that's what I wanted to create with this darling um, little tub here. I'm definitely going to be using this in my kitchen decor just for extra storage. I've been doing so much organizing. I really wanted to have something super cute to be able to store some of my extra goodies in. So again, I'm just taking that sponge and I'm also going in around the base of my little faux enamel tub. Think about doing the edges and the handles and the base. All of the places that normally an old kind of antique place would appear to be aged. <laughs> you, I even did a little bit on the inside to kind of make it really nice and cohesive. And here it is in my little French farmhouse chic setup. Oh my goodness. So I popped this darling little pillow that we're going to make in this tub and some faux lavender. And then we're going to create this really adorable little banner. And oh my goodness, this is just so fun and fabulous. I'm so ready for some spring decorating and I love to do fabulous items on a budget. So for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to take these cute little wooden chick cutouts and I'm taking this wrapping paper that I had left over from Christmas and I'm going to trace around the little chick and then I'm going to cut it out. You can also find some buffalo check plaid paper at Hobby Lobby for a quarter a sheet. And then I'm just going to take some Mod Podge and I'm going to Mod Podge the front of my ship, my little chick. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add the little piece of paper. Think you guys could use pretty much any little piece of scrap paper you have laying around, but this is going to be so adorable. I really think the French farmhouse theme definitely has to have that little bit of buffalo check plaid. And I did get this wrapping paper on clearance at Target at the end of the season. So I added just a cute little jute twine bow, and then I just strung the little chicks on a piece of jute twine, and they're kind of hanging out of my little little faux enamel tin. Eventually though, I am going to use these in my kitchen for my Easter decor. And I think they're fun because I can use them even past Easter. So for the next Dollar Tree DIY, you're going to need one of these Dollar Tree glass bottles. And I just spray painted my bottle with some regular spray paint. And then I printed out these French graphics, again from graphicfairy.com. They are so amazing. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add some Mod Podge to the back of my little graphic layer label. You could really pick any label you wanted, but I definitely wanted to use some of these French sayings. If you just type in French farmhouse on graphicsfairy.com, it'll give you guys all kinds of different graphics that you can choose from. And then I'm going to take some of that same black paint that we used on the first project, and I'm going to dab my little sponge into it. Now, when you apply the paint in these projects, you want to kind of just have a tiny bit of paint on your sponge. So definitely dab it off on your plate before you get to going. But I love this jar or this bottle actually, it's from Dollar Tree. And once it's painted and then you're going back over it with this black paint, you can really see the beautiful detail on this. This is the first time I've actually done this type of project on this jar and I was so impressed with the detail work with it. Oh my goodness, the sky is the limit. I really went to town distressing it and aging it and I feel like this is something you would see at Hobby Lobby for much more. Now I'm taking some of that Dollar Tree jute twine. I wanted to let you all know that you can find their jute twine in the automotive section and it comes three rolls to a pack so you get so much bang for your buck. But I'm just wrapping some jute twine around this little project and then I'm gonna tie a shoelace bow in the front. This is super easy. 
You just tie a shoe, a bow like you're tying your shoelace, but not hard at all. And then I'm going to add some of these cute little burlap rosettes. You can make these with some burlap, or I just ordered some off of burlapfabric.com. Super easy. And then I'm going to make a smaller one to kind of go in and around that same little spot. And I'm adhering it to the jute twine with some hot glue. How fun and fabulous is this? And I just used the little beaded. Um, garland that's hanging off of it that was at Dollar General this season so check that out but you guys can pretty much find those anywhere you could also DIY them and I also just use this beautiful little striped um, kind of tablecloth piece it's actually just a piece of fabric but you could definitely make it into a tablecloth and you can find that at burlapfabric.com they also have that same pattern at Walmart so here it is all perfect and ready for a French farmhouse chic theme. I am definitely digging this. I think this is going to be so great to use in my kitchen. I'm using a lot of black and white in my kitchen with some pops of red, but I definitely feel like for spring, my pops of color are going to be purple. Comment and let me know if you guys use a bit of purple in your spring decor. So for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to take some of this craft paper and then some of this wrapping paper, and I'm going to double layer these together. What I want to create is a really cute little fresh French farmhouse springtime bouquet. So I'm just cutting this off and then I want to go ahead and take some of the Dollar Tree onion grass and some of the Dollar Tree lilacs. You could also use some lavender. They have lavender at Dollar Tree or at Walmart. And then I'm just going to gently wrap um, my paper around my little bundle of flowers. I know it would be so nice to have a fresh flower bouquet, but I even think I love this bouquet more because it's real and it will stay fresh pretty much forever. So I'm just going to take this scrap piece of black ribbon and I'm going to tie it around my little bouquet. I'm going to just knot it here. Super easy. This isn't hard at all. And then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut an upward triangle to dovetail my ends. That's going to give you that really beautiful boutique finish. And I think this is so gorgeous on a budget. You would definitely find this at Home Goods or TJ Maxx for much, much more. Check your local dollar tree for some faux flowers. I think bundling the same flower together gives it more of a high-end look. So taking the onion grass and putting that in the back and then I believe I used three bundles of lilacs and I ended up also popping some faux lavender into this and then I'm just taking the Dollar Tree jute twine and also one of those cute little French farmhouse labels that I printed out. I punched a hole in the front and then I'm just going to string my little jute twine through here and it looks like it is somewhat handmade but also kind of fabulous like maybe you got it from a boutique store or a fresh farmer's market which I absolutely adore. So fun and absolutely fabulous, you guys. Definitely, what are you thinking about this? Do you do a French farmhouse chic theme or French country or any type of farmhouse? I feel like there's so many different ways you could spin the farmhouse look, whether it be modern or French farmhouse or farmhouse chic or French country. I think it's so fun, though, just to add, add those little touches of country into the decor. It really gives my decor that homey feeling, but I like to add kind of a French chic spin on it. So here it is all together. I am so in love with these projects. What do you guys think about these? I'm definitely loving that nice spring flare with the pops of buffalo check and the blacks and whites. So for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to take this little Dollar Tree plastic basket and then I'm going to take some of this Dollar Tree black and white rose contact paper and I just traced it to the base of the basket because I want to take the contact paper 
and line the inside of the basket. So you just cut your contact paper out, which I love the contact paper. It's super easy to use because it has already made lines. So you'll just peel the back off, pop it into the base of your basket. And then I decided I actually wanted to cover the basket with this ribbon. They have burlap ribbon in this color at Dollar Tree. This was actually some ribbon that I bought on a super deep discount clearance at the Michaels after Christmas sale. So I was super excited to get this. And I'm just hot gluing um, some dabs of hot glue around the top edge and then also around the base of this to just go ahead and cover this entire thing. Again, I wanted to give it that French farmhouse chic flair. So I felt like adding the burlap was super cute, but honestly, this basket is so adorable. You could almost leave it as is. And then I decided to go ahead and add one more layer of ribbon on the top. So I'm just going to take and fold one half of the ribbon on top of this side, run my hot glue down this. And so I'm going to hot glue here and then I'm going to fold my ribbon over and hot glue on the inside. Be careful not to burn yourself, but this is so fun and fabulous. And I think this makes a great tray that you can set out in the center of your table or at your coffee bar, or maybe next to your bedside table with some tissues and a candle or whatever suits your fancy. I just think this is so sweet and it really gives it that high end look by adding this extra piece of fabric. I decided to add my beautiful lilac bouquet, a bit of greenery, and some of those beads. I felt that I felt like that made it just look really nice. And I don't think you would ever guess any of these items are from the Dollar Tree. I think they're just looking so high end and chic and absolutely gorgeous and making me so ready to decorate for spring. So comment and let me know. Have you already started your spring decorating yet? I would love to know. So for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to take this little dish drying mat. It's in black that you can get from Dollar Tree. And Dollar Tree also carries these little black and white towels. They come two to a pack. And both of these items are going to be in your Dollar Tree kitchen section. What I want to do is create a little throw pillow. And I'm going to do this just by hot gluing um, three edges of these fabrics together. So I'm starting with this long edge of the fabric. So you're just going to run your hot glue down the edge. You could also use fabric fabric glue and if you're a seamstress or you have a sewing machine which I do not you could sew this which would be great but I love the instant results of hot gluing and since this is just kind of a fun little throw pillow I'm going to use in my decor it's not that big of a deal so you're going to continue on with that and then once you're finished you can stuff it with some fabric hot glue the last end together don't forget to flip your pillow inside out and normally I would share that with you guys but the footage on the rest of that ended up being a little bit not so great so here it is all finished and popped into this black and white decor don't forget to turn those edges inside out, but look at how finished it looks. I just really love that. I love how it's tying in with all of these beautiful blacks and whites. So as always, I ask you all, please comment and let me know what was your favorite DIY in this video. I love to hear what your thoughts are on my projects, especially because it helps me know what you would like me to create next. And if you have any um, requests, I'd love to hear what you guys are doing um, in your new spring and Easter decor. Also, this is part of my new I Love Spring series. I'm going to link the playlist for the rest of the series down below. You'll definitely have to go check out those videos. I've done a ton of Dollar Tree DIYs, and I am so excited to share more with you all. Thank you for hanging out with me. Y'all are just pretty much simply the best. And I have to tell you, so thank I you all you. so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafty decor adventure. It is a true blessing and honor to have you all here. If you all are new, welcome. I'm Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Home, and I love to share with you guys how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget. Hey, listen, I totally believe that you do not have to break the bank to have a fabulous, amazing home. And I just love to bring you my joy of crafting and decorating. So no matter where you're at on your journey, please keep up the good work. 
keep plugging in those glue guns, tidying up your homes, making things cute um, on a budget. I, I know for me, it just makes me feel so good to spend time with my kiddos or grandkids crafting or with you guys crafting or just tidying up my home. I think that uh, my mom gave me a joy and a love for homemaking. And so I'm carrying that in um, to you guys and just my goodness from me to you. And one way that we can help out there in this world and change this world is be a voice for positivity and for peace and for goodness. So remember your um, online impression has a footprint. So you guys say positive things in your friend's comment section of their post. Uh, drop a nice comment on this video below. Um, share your heart, share a prayer, text a friend, call a friend. You know, we all need each other. We all need to love and support one another. So no matter where you're at, know that I love you. This community loves you. And I want to give your heart a big old hug so tight. And if you guys need a prayer, drop a prayer request down below. Um, and if you see something that you don't love, keep scrolling. You don't have to comment. You don't have to be a part of any negativity that is out there. Um, just say a little prayer and move on. I promise you it'll be so good for your spirit. So my puppy dog's getting ready to bark at the <laughs> um, TV here. Benji Bear. <laughs> Let's say hi to Benji Bear real quick. Okay, come on. So if you guys have been along for me on this YouTube journey, you've probably seen Benji Bear grow up on camera. And here he is. He's about, I think he's going to be two years old this year. Um, you guys comment down below and let me know if you remember how little he was. But look at how big he's gotten. Anyway, it's been snowing outside here. And so he's really kind of restless. I took him out to go potty. Um, and he's almost getting too big for me to hold. I don't know if you guys remember originally, but... Um, he used to sit in my lap for my intros and whatnot. So anyway, I'm going to let you guys get back to your weekend. I love y'all to the moon and back. Have a gorgeous, blessed weekend. I can't wait for our next video. And until then, remember, be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another. Talk to you guys very soon. Bye-bye.